Hey everyone, David here with Headset Advisor, and I got a good video for you today. We are going to compare the Plantronics Voyager Focus UC against the EPOS Adapt 360. They're the most similar, and we are going to put them to the sound test with the sound machine behind me, and also test the speakers with our decibel reader here so you can see exactly how these two match up and how they sound so let's get started right now so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the specs side by side so you can take a quick glance at what these headsets are all about all right looking at these two side by side you have bluetooth 4.0 on the plantronics you have bluetooth 5.0 on epos uh, wireless range, uh, EPOS rates at 82 and Plantronics says 98, but in all reality, you typically get about 50 feet of wireless range with a typical Bluetooth wireless headset. They both connect to the computer with an included USB dongle that looks something like this. And then it will also pair up to your mobile phones via Bluetooth connection. The Voyager Focus is a little bit lighter at 5.4 ounces, and the EPOS is about 8 ounces. Talk time, you're going to get 12 hours on uh, the Voyager, whereas you get uh, almost 40 hours with EPOS. They both have active noise canceling, so you're going to really be able to listen to your music and also your audio, you know, if you do podcasts or music, Zoom, Teams, anything that you do like that, you'll be able to utilize that ANC feature to zoom, uh, to focus in on those calls. They also have noise canceling microphones where the Voyager Focus has this microphone boom and the 360 does, is boomless, so it does not have a microphone boom. So we'll be able to test the audio quality of that here shortly to see if having the boom makes a difference for the sound quality. They both have two year warranty. And if you get the Voyager Focus without this nice charging stand, the price is almost the same. EPOS is going to be a little bit less expensive. So let's find out if uh, they compare as far as the audio quality. Now, before we do that, we're gonna take a quick look at just um, some of the features of these headsets as far as the buttons and get a little close up here. All right, this is the Plantronics Voyager Focus. You see here you have the answer end button there. You have the mute button on the bottom of the microphone boom. You have your power on and pairing button here. You also have your skip forward, your pause play button here. And then of course you have your active noise cancellation and a micro USB charging port. And then this has a nice, soft, comfortable, um, stretchy leather cushion so that your head doesn't actually have to rest with the headband, which I thought was a uh, really cool design. And we do get a lot of these on trade-in and stuff and they hold up very well. So you uh, would think that this would kind of wear out over time, but it surprisingly uh, does good. And that is a quick glance at this. It has leather ear cushions. They fully rotate, which is convenient and nice. And it has a, a really nice design here. All right, this is the EPOS 360. And as you can see here, it's nice design. It definitely seems um, like very basic, but efficient, if that makes sense. All right. And it just has a nice side there. It's not touch screen or anything on the side. And there's a little microphone for the active noise cancellation. Here's your buttons. There's a USB-C. So I always appreciate a USB-C port, whereas the Plantronics had a USB, um, micro USB. You have your 3.5 millimeter uh, cord in case you want to just hook up to the computer for even better audio. And then you have your power button. You have your volume up, volume down, and also pause play there. And you have your Microsoft Teams button right there. And then one thing about this headset is it does not fully rotate, which I just find annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. Also, it's a comfortable headband. Um, it's kind of like the silicone material and you also have leather ear cushions. And then one thing about this headset is that it can actually fold up which is kind of cool, whereas the Voyager Focus does not. 
but I always worry about longevity with a headset that folds out. But I will say that this just feels really solid and durable, like they did a good job. All right, now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna hook these up to the computer and you'll be able to hear um, our voice or my voice. Um, and then I'll do them side by side very quickly so you can hear the difference between the two very quickly so that you can compare and hear for yourself. Now, before I do that, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future videos like this. All right, this is the Plantronics. As you see, when I tap on that microphone, my voice is coming through this microphone. This is what it sounds like. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. You wanna be able to hear my voice loud and clear. And then I'm gonna quickly switch over to the e all right, now this is the EPOS Adapt 360. Testing one, two, three, as you see when I'm tapping on the headset, that is what it sounds like. And what I'm gonna do quickly is switch back to the Plantronics so you can hear the difference. All right, now this is back on the Plantronics, as you see here, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. You wanna be able to hear my voice loud and clear, and then I'll switch one more time back to the EPOS. All right, now this is back on the EPOS Adapt 360, testing one, two, three. And I will say just when uh, kind of switching back and forth, the Voyager Focus feels like the lighter, more comfortable headset. And I'll show you a little trick that I use on some of these larger headsets to make them uh, not feel as uncomfortable. So what happens like in this headset, when I was first wearing it, uh, feels pressure going in on my head so that could cause a headache but let me show you this all right i'll give you a slight disclaimer do this at your own risk i've done it to uh, every headset uh, pretty much that's durable and sturdy with uh, much success as i think they're oftentimes designed to do this but just full disclaimer do this at your own risk um, so they feel a little tight depending upon the size and shape of your head so you actually just take this and kind of bend it slightly don't bend it too hard again you don't want to break it but uh doing a little bit will actually surprisingly make a big difference as you see it stretched out there puts so much less pressure in on your ears and you could do the you know kind of do this um, if you kind of want to bend it back down if it's a little loose for you and that you know makes it a little more pressure or you do this to kind of um, loosen it up a little bit now a lot less pressure on your head and a lot wider stance so typically with a headset that is um, kind of over the head that feels a little bit more pressure that's what I'll do to kind of relieve some of that uh, tension and pressure and it makes it more comfortable gonna be for all day use so okay now what we're gonna do is we are going to do the noise canceling test so we're gonna put some office noise and we're gonna fire up that blender so we can see how these microphones compare when we have those noise. And again, before we do that, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out. And also, if you need help finding a headset that's best for your situation, your budget, your phone system, your phones, it gets really complicated. There's over hundreds and hundreds of headsets from different brands, and we kind of cut through the noise. We provide free headset recommendations. I'll put our contact information below in the video description so you have that. All right, let's get started. All right, now before I switch to the headset here, this is how loud and what the audio, uh, audio sounds like. And also I got the decibel reader here so you can keep an eye on how loud it is in this room. All right, let's get started. All right, now this is with the Plantronics, as you see I'm wearing here, double checking that mic here. Okay, and then you can keep an eye on the decibel reader and I'll just be quiet here for a second. Okay, and then I'll keep speaking here, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, just so you can get a good idea. All right, now this is the EPOS Adapt 360. As you can hear my voice here clearly, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, and then I'll be silent for a second. All right, so that's what it sounds like. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna step up and we're gonna go to the blender test. All right, now this is the Plantronics Voyager Focus UC. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. All right, now this is the EPOS Adapt 360. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. All right, you wanna be able to hear my voice loud and clear. All right. All right, so there was the sound test. Which one sounded better? 
put it in the comment section below. Was it the Plantronics or was it the EPOS? You know, between the noise canceling and just how natural the voice sounded between the two. I will say um, about active noise cancellation, um, just the way that they've designed the speakers on the Plantronics here, as you see those speakers, they're not, um, they don't fully enclose the ear. So I was still able to hear uh, the blender in the background significantly. And then when you turn on the active noise canceling with the button right here, uh, it just probably reduced about 20% of that blender noise in the background. So it worked okay, but because of the size of the speakers of the EPOS, it's just the way it co fully covers your ear. And then when you activate the noise, active noise canceling, it uh, eliminated significantly more, maybe a total of like 30 to 40% more than this. But one thing I'll bring to your attention is it took me a while to figure out how to activate the active noise canceling feature. I had to look up in the manual because it doesn't make it very easy. Like the Plantronics is just a switch. I'll try to get it so the camera can focus in here. All right, so there's this power button here. Um, so if you hold this, it actually turns the headset on and off. But to activate active noise canceling, you have to press this twice, like double press. And that's what activates um, the active noise canceling feature and deactivate. So pre double press it again to uh, remove that active noise canceling feature. So just a heads up to you out there, if you're trying to turn on your ANC feature on your headset, just learn from my experience there, it helps you out. All right, so let's get to the sound test and we'll measure the speakers over the microphone here so you can hear how both of these sound side by side. So you can get an idea of the bass and just the quality of audio and I'll do uh, side by side just so you can see the difference for yourself. And we'll also measure with the decibel reader how much volume is coming out of each headset. Now, before we do that, again, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future videos like this. All right, from a sound quality perspective, which one do you think sounded better? Was it the Plantronics or was it the EPOS? Put it in the comment section below. Well, that wraps it up for the test that I have between these two headsets. Now I would say if you're looking for something that really cancels out more noise, uh, that means you have a lot of distractions going around. Maybe you have kids, dogs barking, that type of thing. And you listen to music, you do a lot of phone calls, you know, Zoom meetings, that type of thing. You're going to want to go with the EPOS just for the bigger cushions, the active noise canceling feature. But if that's not the biggest concern for you, then you may want to consider the Voyager Focus. It might be comfortable for all day use. Um, Ultimately, they're very, very comparable. Um, you know, price is very uh, similar as well. The price point on the EPOS is a little bit lower, but overall, you can't go wrong with e either one. So that wraps that up. Um, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and also subscribe. And if you need help finding a headset for your specific situation, 
please reach out to us. I'll put our contact information in the video description below. There's so many different headsets to choose from, and we help you uh, with a product recommendation, narrow that down for you. It's absolutely free. We love doing it. It's what we do every day. Well, that's all I got for now. We'll see you next time.